Well, good day, everyone. I'm Cindy Island. I live here in Leander, Texas, right outside of Austin, Zone 8B. And I have another video for you today about this plant wall that I created. And I thought you might want to know how I did this and how you can create one too. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and um, like this video. Okay, so let's talk about why I wanted to build this. So I have lots of house plants and in the winter, everybody lives inside, but in the spring and summer and early fall, I bring everybody outside because I know they really prefer it. And um, I just kind of spread them out all over the yard under trees. And sometimes the sun is on the left side and sometimes it's on the right side. And, Invariably, I was burning plants and also I was not getting everybody watered. I'd go out there with the hose and I would forget somebody. And so I, was, I just thought, you know, I really wish I could make this easier. I'd like to keep all the plants in one location where they would be happy and they wouldn't, um, you know, I wouldn't forget to water them. So I'm going to take you back in time and I want you to pretend like that these brackets are not here. <laughs> so I just had this nice blank wall and I had the idea from the magazine that I could put some shelves here and create a beautiful wall. So the first thing I did was decide how far out I could have a table and a shelf. Well I have a door right here and that really had to limit how wide I could um, have this table and the shelves. So I decided that um, 10 inches would, be, would work out. So I found this table on Amazon and it does give you plenty of leeway when you're trying to come in and out this door. So 10 inches it, um, wide and then I found one that was 5 feet long. So that was, that was fine. It is a solid metal table. It's, it's mm, not real heavy, but it's, it's sturdy enough. And um, I put this contact paper on top of it because I knew I was going to have water issues. And I, I felt like this, as soon as I started watering plants on this tabletop, I was going to have rusty areas and it would just, it wouldn't last as long. So this contact paper has really been helpful. So then the next thing I did while I'm on Amazon is I searched for shelf brackets. And um, they have many, many types to choose from. These are um, eight inches deep because I did realize that there is very little space here. Somebody could really whack their head on the shelf. So I decided that the shelves had to be eight inches deep. So I was able to find um, these nice brackets that were also eight inches deep. I'm going to show you a side view of the brackets so you can get an idea of how they look. Very simple and I purchased four. And then I went to Home Depot and I bought some wood. These boards are eight feet long which is what I measured between uh, from one end of the wall to the other and they are seven and a half inches wide. Um, they didn't have eight inches wide but that was close enough and they came in ten foot length so I asked them to cut them for me. That's a little tip. Home Depot will cut, make a couple of cuts for you if they're not too um, time consuming. So they cut two feet off and I came home with two boards the exact measurement that I needed. And then I went ahead and painted them in a nice black um, so that they would become waterproof and I wouldn't have to worry about them rotting out too soon. And then after I had my materials, I needed my supplies. So I gathered my supplies. Uh, the first thing I got, I gathered up was this wonderful stud finder. And I don't know if you have one, but if you don't have a stud finder and you like to do home improvement projects, this is a great, a great find. 
it's, you can buy it, buy it at any hardware store. And so I ran it across the wall and it beeps when it finds your stud. So let me, let me show you that. So you start over here. Okay, there it's telling me there's a stud there. I'm getting a strong signal. So another really important tool is your level. And I, my shelves are already in place, but I made sure that they were level before I put the brackets on the other side. So that, that was really important to me. I hate to, I really do hate it when things aren't, aren't quite exactly plumb. And then here's another great tool. If you don't have a battery operated screwdriver, man, these things are great. It has, it can drill for you and it can put screws in and take screws out. So I use this thing all the time. This is by DeWalt. And, but there's all kinds of different ones um, out there. But this is something I asked for for Christmas since I like to do these little projects and this sure has made it easier. So now it's time to lay the shelves up I, I felt really good that the brackets were, were in studs and they were level and I laid those boards on and I, I really was pleased. And now I'm going to put this table back in place. And I am ready to have fun putting all the plants back and all the tchotchkes that I can find to make this wall come alive. So let's get started. the finished product and um, I have found that there's another great use of these shelves is to display my collections I love to collect rocks and seashells from different trips we've been on and so I've had a lot of fun putting those out and you know it's a great place because I really don't need rocks and seashells all on my inside shelves so this is much nicer out here um, another thing that is, has been very helpful is this getting some kind of a stool. This one is the one from Ikea. It just folds up and I can tuck it over on the side. So when I'm watering, I can get up on that stool and reach the tall ones. And I also got a water spout with a long neck and that really can help me to reach those top ones easy, very easily. And it's amazing, I've never really had one of these before, but they are a lot less messy. The, the thicker nozzle, the thicker spout, I just seem to get water everywhere. But this one is just really point and shoot. So I, I have really enjoyed this. And then this is just a, a nice watering wand. This has been really good because I can turn it off and on as I'm watering and I, I'm trying not to make too big of a mess on watering day, you know, but this is a concrete floor and so it's really not that big of a problem if I get water everywhere. <laughs> so a couple more things um, I can tell you about. So sometimes um, when I'm out at different festivals and things I find interesting hanging items. This is the you know big deal at the, during the Christmas holidays, the bells, but I really could not figure out where to hang this in my house. I found the perfect place right here next to my shelf wall. And then gnats. Gnats have been a real problem um, when you get a lot of plants close together. So this is a sticky um, little butterfly, plastic butterfly. You stick a few of these all in your plants and look how many gnats it's caught. So that's really solved my gnat problem. So um, 
I just really feel like my plants are very happy here on this plant wall. They're in deep shade and they seem to be really thriving here and I can get everybody watered in one fail swoop. And I just, I really am pleased with the final project. So if you are interested in doing something like this, please give it a try and send me pictures of what you create. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.